Oh, hey, <laughs> I didn't see you there. I'm Luis, and welcome to WAF 101. What is a WAF? WAF, Web Application Firewall, you ask? Well, web application is essentially your site in simple terms. Our job is to protect it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect and filter requests to make sure that you and your customers are safe. What? I'm sorry guys, they're asking me why use the firewall? Well, don't we work so hard to put yourselves on a good standing with SEO on the first page of Google? Oh, you don't wanna hurt your reputation. You wanna make sure that you can keep that so you don't gotta work again towards it. Well, the firewall is gonna do that for you. Firewall is gonna be able to keep your brand reputation, your SEO, and if something does happen, we're gonna be able to keep the visitor trust the way it is. This is one step closer to being HIPAA compliant and PCI compliant. Oh. Oh. Hey there guys, sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. <sighs> Me running right here, trying to get to you guys is the same as your host trying to work without a CDN in place. That's what the firewall can add to it. Whew. We can deliver cache content from all our servers around the world to make sure that their content is delivered quicker to their visitor. Oh, I gotta keep working out. <sighs> oh, yo, before I go guys, what won't the wall fix? Well, follow me and I'll tell you. Oh, Whew. Just like you just saw with the firewall, there's no zero risks. There's always a chance that something could happen. But just like that cushion was there to save me, the firewall is here to protect you. A couple things to keep in mind when keeping yourself protected with the firewall in place. Get rid of weak passwords and make sure that your control panel is protected. On top of that, make sure that your cross-site contamination isn't happening. What does that mean? Well, let me just give you guys a simple example. Imagine if you leave your front door unlocked. That's what we call a vulnerability. If your front door is unlocked, people can bring things in and take things out from your house. That's what we would call the malware. To make sure that that doesn't happen, all the sites within your house should be protected. Don't forget to activate the WAF because overall, your rate of reinfection is greatly reduced. We're gonna make sure to filter and stop the next attack from happening. That's it for WAF 101. Don't forget guys, my name is Luis. And if you guys have any questions about the firewall or anything in between, hit us up on security.net. See ya.